not trying to bring it up. I know you had the issues with Alpha Mel and the team and all that. And I want to, and that's, that's old news. And I want to bring up that whole thing again. And it's been beat over and over again. But I just uh, watched a recent interview, not recent, but from just late December with Chell. And he really broke down something that I never really noticed was that Conor McGregor was such a huge part of that. I never realized how, how much Conor was a huge part of that. Um, and I never, and so I have to ask you because I didn't know, and I haven't seen you really share any opinion. What was your opinion of Connor because of that situation? And even now, do you have any kind of ill will towards him um, because of that situation, or was it just bound to happen? Do you think, or was it just pretty much his 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 manifestation? Man, I think that whole situation was almost a game plan. To be honest, yeah. I, you know, I really I almost believe him and Uriah sat down and, and like planned it out. It was like too perfect. So I was a champion. Just beat Burrell. Uriah is coaching Ultimate Fighter against Connor. I come to help out. Um, right now, so I'm the champion. I defended against Burrell. I'm doing this back and forth. I'm going to Colorado to train with Dwayne. I'm kind of like what I'm doing. I'm coming, and I was going back to Sacramento to train with Team Alpha Male. But every time we went back to Team Alpha Male, we didn't have really have a head coach. And so I was running practice. You know, like I'm fighting for a world title, and I'm running my own practice. Like that, you shouldn't be doing that, you know. Um, so we'll get to that point after. But – so that, that was the situation. And then so after I beat Burrell, like seriously, that next week I go out to the Ultimate Fighter to kind of show my face and show my support for Uriah and be there for him. Um, and it was just like I kind of got blindsided. I walk – I'm like yeah. morning, just tired, <laughs> walking into the gym, drinking a coffee, like puffy face, and then like instantly getting attacked by like uh, McGregor and talking about how I'm a, a, a snake in the grass. I'm this traitor, blah, 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 blah. And like there was no thought in my mind of like me not being with Team Alpha Male. Like I was there. Like these are my boys. These are guys that became – best friends with yeah. you know like came up to the ranks with um and then that kind of started and kind of just put a little like um just attention towards it right but then obviously things just kind of escalate from there so we get back so i don't hold anything to him because it's not his fault i mean i think it was a plan i really do so i get back to team off mail before I my next fight so after i beat Burrell, my next fight's gonna be dominic cruz and um you know, I'm thinking about my camp and how it went last time, and I had a great performance. But the thing that really was like irritating me was every time we went out to team off mail, I was like, man, I wish I was in Colorado right now. Like, I just we didn't have a coach. I couldn't be coaching practice and worried about right. fighting and coming back to fighting Dominic Cruz. It's like he's another guy that's being talked about as being one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. Is you know he's a pioneer of the sport. And it's like, oh, I'm fighting Dominic Cruz. Like, I need to take this serious. What can I do to make my camp even better than last time? And it was like, I need to be in Colorado. So took your ride to lunch. Um, I sat him down and, uh, unfortunately I put Chad Mendes in an awkward situation too, cause Chad came to lunch with us as well too, but I sat him down. I was like, Hey man, look, I need to, cause him and Dwayne didn't get along. Right. I, Uriah Faber and Dwayne did not get along because of money. You know, um, Uriah promised some things that didn't happen such and such, but whatever that that's that. So they didn't really get along. So it's like team Uriah or team Dwayne. And I'm doing this back and forth. It's like, I'm the steps. I'm like, I'm like the, the kid in a divorce yeah. and having to choose sides. Of this, you know? So I sit him down at lunch, like, Hey man, I'm going to do my full camp out in Colorado. I can't afford to keep coming back and forth. It just took a lot out of me. And you know, I don't have a coach here running practices, this and that. And so he gave me an ultimatum. He's like, look, man, you're either with him or you're with us. So um, you choose. And I was like, well, then I'm going to Colorado, you know. And and I thought the fact it was like I'm just choosing. Like, so I was like, I'm going to Colorado. I'm going to go train out there. So I, But I'd still come. And he told me I couldn't practice at Alpha anymore. I was like, fuck, man, all right. But I was still coming to the gym trying to hang out with the guys. Dude, he fully kicked me out of the gym, made me like pack all my stuff up, get out of there. I just bought a house in Sacramento, moved my life there. And so I had to pack up and leave. So I – I was like, fuck, man, like I packed my house up, sold it, moved to Colorado. And then that's when all this started. That's why me becoming like the heel really, really started, you know, and uh, just had to continue to, to, to live with yeah. it and play with it up, even though I mean, everyone's got their own stories, right? Everyone's got the way they see it. But for me, that's the way that I see it. And it's just it, it was just crazy that it became that way. And if I really feel like the way for me and your ride to fight each other. So say I went and went out and beat Cruz, like, which I think I did, didn't get the decision swung my way. It would have been a really big hyped up fight between me and Uriah. Yeah. And I think that was the game plan. I really think the game plan for Uriah to get another title shot was against me and for me to get the belt back and get it all hyped up and, and you know, like what Connor would say, the red painting night for the UFC. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, I really believe it was the game plan. It was it was worked out and uh it was like just creating this drama, which drama continued to last and then Garbrandt won the belt and it was like still there. And so I've been having to deal with that bullshit since I was fighting Cruz. Uh, from a long time, you know, and then come back and have to deal with it for Cody for two years. So um, real unfortunate situation to lose some really close friends over some bullshit. 
but you really find out who's who's really in your corner when uh, shit like that goes down.